Hey everybody, my name is Michelle and welcome to a new reading vlog. It is week four of the Owl's Magical Readathon. I have been vlogging for this readathon for the past couple of weeks. But due to, um, yeah, just me not feeling like vlogging the entire week, this is now a 24 hour readathon because today it is Sunday the 26th of April. I haven't vlogged anything the entire week. I haven't filmed anything the entire week. I just really did not feel like filming and vlogging. I don't know why, I just wasn't in the mood. But I still wanted to give you some content, you know, some vlogging content on this Monday evening. And yeah, that's why I decided to do a little 24 hour readathon vlog. So I guess sort of like a Owl's Magical 24 hour readathon vlog, something like that, I don't know. There have been a lot of official 24 hour readathon vlogs or like readathons lately. But as far as I'm aware, there's not an official one today. I'm not sure. I'm just going to, yeah, try to do some reading today and vlog just one day in my life because yeah I haven't told anything else and that's just how it's going to be. It also didn't help that this week I was really sort of struggling a reading slump like it just wasn't the best reading week for me. I have read bits and I have listened to my audiobook but overall my reading mood just wasn't that great and I really don't like that. I just love reading so much so I hate it when I'm in this sort of reading slump mood. So maybe I can also turn that around today. I'm not sure. Uh, today I do want to do some reading but I also have some like chores to do. I feel like Sunday has become my official cleaning and chores day. Like I have to clean and tidy up my room. I have to clean my makeup brushes. Like that desperately needs to happen. Those are so dirty. And more things like that. I feel like Sunday is just the day that I do all the other things that I haven't done the entire week. All the things that need to happen. All the little chores and such. So that is also something that needs to happen today but fortunately I can always listen to my audiobook whilst doing that so I can still combine reading and doing things and yeah it's I just I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do today I don't know what this vlog is going to be like I'm just going to take it one thing at a time and I do really want to read also some of my physical book and yeah I guess I should, I should just tell you what I'm currently reading that will probably make a lot more sense so for my physical book I am still reading Witches of Ash and Ruin um, I have to, taken the dust jacket off but this is the book and yeah I haven't read a lot of it since like last updating you guys on this one during a reading vlog I am now at page let me see um page 66 so yeah I haven't read that much of it yet because I wasn't completely feeling it at the beginning but I feel like that was more me than the book because as I mentioned before I wasn't in the best reading mood and that's why I wasn't like completely into this story yet because it's also well this one in case you don't know maybe I should give a synopsis <laughs> this book is about a girl named Dinah who wants to become a full witch she is part of a coven and then another witch coven comes to her small Irish town and there is like Probably a serial killer on the loose who has it out for witches. And also Dinah is struggling with OCD and she has been recently outed as bisexual in her small conservative town. So yeah, she has a lot to deal with. I'm only at the beginning as I mentioned before. I haven't read much of it. It is like you really get thrown into the book and into the story without much context. You really have to take it as it comes. I usually don't mind that, but if you are in sort of a reading slump, that might not be the best sort of book. But I have read a bit of it last night and then I was sort of feeling it again and really enjoying it. So I guess I'm just going to try to read something of this today. I'm just going to give it my best and see what happens. Of course, it's not a disaster if I don't read much of it, but I do want to make some progress because I just want to make some progress with at least one book or something. I don't know. So this one and then I'm also still doing my Harry Potter audiobook reread and I am almost done with Goblet of Fire. This is my favorite. I love Goblet of Fire so much. I'm almost done with it. I have like one hour of audiobook left, 50 minutes, not much. So I am very confident I will finish this one today. And of course this is a audiobook reread so it feels a lot more easier than reading physical normal books or reading a new audiobook. So I'm still reading. I guess you couldn't call it a true reading slump because I am still reading but for me this counts a little bit less as being in a reading mood because it doesn't matter in what mood I am. I can always listen to the audiobooks of Harry Potter. So these books keep me going and yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I'm in such a weird mood. It's really like, I hope this vlog is going to be enjoyable. I don't know. But yeah, almost done with it and I still love it so much. You know, that hasn't changed. I love Harry Potter. That will always be the fact and that yeah I don't have much to say about it apart from that except that you can always watch my Harry Potter reviews if you want to and if you want to hear more about it of course but yeah as always I will leave links down below in the description box but I feel like most people 
that watch my videos know about those, I guess. We'll just have to see. <laughs> for now, uh, I'm going to go for my morning walk. I say morning walk, but it's already past 12 in the afternoon, so mo it's more of like an afternoon walk. But the weather is so gorgeous today, and it is sunny again, and I've heard that during this week it's going to rain a lot more and the weather is going to be not as nice as it has been for the past couple of weeks so i really should enjoy some sunshine whilst i can i do really love to go for my morning walks and like just my walks in general we are still allowed to do that to go for walks in our neighborhood as long as you uh, of course make sure you have a huge distance between everybody else and uh, unfortunately it's not very crowded in where like where i live so for me that's still possible i'm very happy with that because i just love going for walks so much it's really nice to go outside clear my head have some exercise and have some sunshine on my face and that is exactly what i'm going to do right now i finished harry potter and the goblet of fire by jk rowling so that is my fourth harry potter audiobook done for this month and as you can probably expect i'm just going to continue with harry potter and the order of the phoenix now i also went for my walk i cleaned my makeup brushes i've done some tidying up i still have a couple of things left to do but also i really want to do some reading now so i think i might just do that and maybe play some animal crossing whilst listening to another harry potter audiobook so all in all it's a pretty okay sunday for me and tonight we're actually going to make our own pizzas like on the barbecue with a pizza stone you know that gets really hot so we're baking our own pizzas and i'm so excited for that because i'm really craving pizzas and if you're making them yourself then they're even more tasty somehow like really looking forward to that <laughs> evening it is half past seven did i read much today no did i film much today also not really i did read like 10 pages of witches of ash and ruin not that much but i'm really getting more into the story now so that at least is a positive sign also i played super mario party and mario kart with like my sister and family and such so that was nice entertainment i guess and we did make pizzas and i was pretty happy with how mine turned out it was quite delicious so overall a pretty relaxed sunday even though it didn't entail that much reading but i did finish goblet of fire so yeah there's at least one book finished for the rest of the evening i really don't know maybe i'll read a little more i think i can read a little more of witches and ash and ruin witches of ash and ruin i don't know a book about witches <laughs> and then see how much progress i can make with that and then yeah usually like there's not much i can do during the evening apart from that because of course there is not a lot that is possible right now tomorrow on the 27th of april so like today for you when you're watching this probably it is actually king's day which is the national holiday of the netherlands so we celebrate the birthday of the king and usually there are a lot of festivals and celebrations and parties but of course this year not <laughs> which is sort of sad so yeah it is a very very weird king's day holiday but it is still a holiday and what we do have is some like orange cake orange pastry like that you sort of eat when it's king's day because orange is our color and everything is supposed to be orange during these kinds of holidays and celebrations and um yeah orange i guess you call it pastry it's like a tom pouce. it's sort of like two sort of cookie things and then there's cream and whipped cream in between it's hard to explain i will insert a picture right here because um yeah i don't know if it's like a thing in other countries and then we also have like giant orange cream puffs i guess you call it again i will insert a picture and that's also just mostly whipped cream and like sweet orange stuff 
on the top and everything. I don't know how to explain it. So that's the only celebration thingy that we can have tomorrow because of course we can still eat cake and things. Um, and apart from that, it's going to be a very weird King's Day and probably I'm just going to see if I can squeeze in some more reading and yeah, things like that. For now, I'm going to get into my pajamas and then I am going to, um, yeah, not sure, maybe play some Animal Crossing, maybe read some more because I really should, but let's just see. <laughs> it's, it's again, a bit of a weird day. It is now April the 27th. It is King's Day, what I talked about earlier. And I went to the bakery this morning to pick up like the orange cakes and pastries and it was so busy. The line was so long. I was clearly not the only one with the same idea. Like, I feel like everybody in the Netherlands is now picking up their baked orange goods. Because it is the only thing we can do today because of course the festivities and the festivals and all the fun things aren't possible right now. But you know it is what it is. I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun festive King's Days in the future and yeah of course it is a shame that so many fun things are cancelled right now. Like concerts and vacations and trips and festivities. Um, it sucks. I mean nobody is happy about that. But we're just going to have to make the most of it uh, whilst we are at home and you know I'm happy that I still have like this space and uh, lots of outdoor space and a garden and that there are still things possible to do and me personally i'm just very much looking forward to how special it's going to be and how much we are going to appreciate it when we can go outside again and do fun things with friends in you know in real life in person and i just hope the situation will get better as soon as possible Then for reading, I read some more of Witches of Ash and Ruin last night. Let me grab the book. And yeah, I'm now at page like 91. So I haven't read that much again. But also I feel like this isn't really a huge binge book. At least not for me. It takes a little bit of time for me to get through it. But I'm very much enjoying it right now. I really like the atmosphere and all the characters. It is so witchy. And I love the vibe going around. And with like all the magic and things and it's just yeah it's really something that i haven't read before i haven't read a lot of books like this before based on uh yeah witch covens and mythology and yeah just the entire id behind that and i'm really enjoying it so i feel like i've definitely sort of gotten the hang of this book now i'm really in the mood to read more of it which i want to do today of course but i think it's just going to take a while for me to finish this one i'm going to take it slowly not push myself to finish it soon i'm just going to finish it whenever i finish it i feel that's like the best mind mindset for me right now with reading I guess. I want to continue with this. Don't know if I'm going to finish it before April is over. So yeah I'm just going to have to see. And uh, I love that it's something so completely different from what I would usually read. I really want to get out of my comfort zone a bit more uh, with reading this year. So let's just see what I'm going to think of the rest. I think I will love it. I think this is going to be a good one but of course I still only have read like a tiny bit of it so it can still change. But so far I am like my thoughts are positive. So that is it for my physical book. Of course I read like or I listened to a bit of the audiobook of uh, Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And again I don't have many in-depth thoughts about this one. Because of course it's Harry Potter. I talk about it all the time. Again, again. You probably know the drill by now. It's just really nice to continue with my Harry Potter audiobook reread. So that is also what is going to continue and what is happening right now. And I guess that's pretty much it for this reading vlog. Again it's a bit of a shorter one. But yeah... Um, yeah, I'm in a bit of a reading vlog slump, I guess. I just don't know what to film and how to make it interesting because I just don't really feel like filming and I don't do a lot of interesting stuff. So I'm just sort of winging it as I'm going along. And yeah, it's a shorter one. It's again a one day and a half, one-ish. Um, yeah, I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you still like this video, please go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up if you want to, of course. As always, I would really appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!